I'm using the mini mic today. And I actually brought the adapter. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you read the title. <clears throat> the bank account is crying, but the closet is freaking smiling, am I right? No, but for real, yeah, my, my bank account is... <clears throat> <clears throat> but I'm really excited to film this video because I don't know I'm kind of a fashion person now I'm kind of a fashion guru, but yeah, I don't want to film a super long intro I just want to get straight into the video because we have a lot of things to cover a lot I just got out of the shower. So the hair is kind of just doing its own thing I hope you guys enjoy this because if not I'm going to cry my eyes out this actually was a lot of money, but I have gotten rid of a lot of clothes. So I needed to like revamp my style. Before you get started, make sure to like and subscribe. I post new videos every week and I don't know. It'll make me happy if you subscribe. All right, let's begin. So I have this. Oh, okay, I just ripped it. I have this huge. Oh my god, okay. Wait, okay. I have this. <laughs> Bro. I have this huge bag of clothes that has all the new clothes that I've bought. This is a $400 try on clothing haul for you guys. The stores that I'm listing in this haul are actually really random, like, they don't go together at all. But we have Addicted, which is the majority of this haul. Not sponsored, by the way, from any of these people. I freaking wish. I do wish, hit me up. Then we have Shein, which I know Shein is controversial. Don't bring it up with me, don't bring it up with me. We then have Pac Sun, Aeropostale, Lucy in the Sky, and then I think one piece from Target, and then H&M. All right, so I'm gonna start off this haul with the majority of where I got my clothes from, which is Addicted. By the way, everything that I'm gonna be showing is going to be linked in the description. Okay, I actually didn't, I didn't realize how I'm supposed to use the, the thing and show the outfit, but we'll figure it out. So the first top that I'm gonna be showing you guys from there is actually the one I'm wearing right now. I was trying to expand my wardrobe a little bit, so I got pieces that I would never usually wear, but we're trying. This top is really comfortable. I really like it. It's for the most part staying up. It has this little buckle, buck, buckle? I don't, I don't know what that's called, but you see it, you, you understand. It's just a tube top. It's cute, it's brown. I liked it, so I bought it. The next top we have is actually one that I got to go out partying. For when I do go out partying. If I ever go out partying. <laughs> it just looks like this. It has a really cute centerpiece. I was kind of scared because I don't usually buy shirts like this, but I I'm glad I did. It looks very nice. Next, we got a set. A freaking set. I am not one to buy sets, ever. Like, I'm just, I'm not that type of person. This set is a matching tube top and skirt set. I really like it. It's kind of wrinkly, so I apologize for that. I love the little rose detailing. I think it's really cute. It's not very light. It's kind of not thick, but it feels kind of heavy, which I don't mind at all. The only problem with this skirt is that it's see-through. I'm wearing little boy shorts under it because it is very see-through. I think if you put on a nice tan and you wear this set, it'll just look friggin' fabulous. I also like how you can buy the top and the skirt separately, so if you wanted to mix, mix and match it, you could totally do that. This mess is from this haul, so I don't want to hear anything about it. I really do like this skirt. I wish it wasn't see-through, but maybe with a nice, you know, bikini, it'll, it'll work out. I'll figure something out with it. Guys, look how see-through it is. Uh, what? Alrighty, so <laughs> this actually looks like a napkin. This is the next top. The reason I really like this top is because the back is just completely open and I think that's just, that's the vibe. 
Again, the quality for all of these items is actually surprisingly good. I was a little nervous, but yeah, I like this top. It's, it's pretty basic top, but I, it works with a lot of outfits. All right, so the next piece I have is actually the whole reason I even purchased from this brand in the first place. I was just gonna get this romper and then I fell into a rabbit hole. And now it has led to this video. This is just a black one piece romper. I found one that I really liked on Instagram. Somebody was wearing it, but I checked the price and that ish was like $130. Absolutely not. So I did what I did and I got a dupe. The quality of this romper again is very good Like I don't have any complaints. The only thing I think I just don't really like about it Is that it kind of falls off my shoulder if I have bad posture Which just kind of is also good because it makes me have good posture whenever I wear this See if I it just happened if I like relax the sleeve falls down But it's it's just the side. I don't know why it's doing that Next, I have these black shorts. They kind of look like underwear. I don't, I don't know. They're not like just straight across the leg, like cut shorts. It's also high-waisted. I actually think they're cute. I think they're just nice, comfortable shorts to wear out. I feel like a jazz instructor. I don't know, like these pants are giving like workout, like woo, woo. And then we have this tube top with matching gloves. The only reason I got this was because of the matching gloves, but unfortunately, they don't fit me, so I have to return it and get a bigger size. The tube top is just a little tight, but again, I'm just so surprised on how good the quality is. The gloves are also, I think, super cute. I like how they aren't attached to the shirt, which means you can just style them however you want. Cute. Next, we have these pajama shorts, I'm 90% sure. They come in a set. It's a matching top as well, but I didn't get it, and now I wish I did because it, it's a cute set. I'm probably going to wear these out because I wear pajamas out, period, so it doesn't matter. Again, really comfortable. They're actually pretty lightweight, which is good for sleeping, you know. Next, we have this open back black top. It's actually exactly the same as the romper, except it doesn't have, like, the romper part of it. Again, I love the open back kind of style it has going on. I think that's just super cute and that's really in style. And this is just a basic black top. So from the front, it's just like, oh, okay, a basic black top. And then you turn around and it's like, oh, it's not so basic. Are you getting the vibe? <laughs> Next, we have this. I love how I'm just holding it up, assuming you can see it. But yeah, this top is actually one of my favorite purchases. I was a little nervous buying it just because like it's summer and where am I going to wear it? But I just did a photo shoot in it. I'll insert the pictures here. Come on, come on. It's good quality. It's weird how it feels, but it's very like breathable, I would say. It also is supposed to go off the shoulder, which I think is the reason I like it the most. And then the sleeves are like bell sleeves. I really like it. Next, we have these jorts. I have to definitely return these because they're a bit too tight. I got these in a medium. I'm going to need to get them in a large. They kind of fit like perfectly, but I like my jorts to be a bit like bigger as you can see with the ones I'm wearing, if you could even see them. I like the color though, and they're pretty comfortable. I just, oh, okay. Well, I just need to get them in a bigger size. Bro, my legs literally look like... I need to hit leg day. I don't know, I feel like a little boy. And then I'm pretty sure this is the last top. It's inside out, but I'm too lazy to flip it around. YouTubing! For my last item, this is just a basic cropped, like flowy long sleeve thing, tee, whatever. The arms are like bell sleeves, which I really like. It's see-through, so it's definitely like kind of I don't, I don't know. I actually got this in a small. I should have gotten this in a medium. I think I thought it was gonna be too oversized. Yeah, it's about to show everything. If I just, any wind comes, it, I'm, I'm screwed. All right, and that is it for the Addicted haul. Next, we're gonna do Shein and then, and then 
we'll go on from there. <laughs> I'm not gonna try on the bathing suits for obvious reasons, but I will hold them up for you. This is the first bathing suit. It's in a nice kind of pastel-y purple color. I only got this one just because I wanted a bathing suit that was secure enough to like get absolutely destroyed by the waves. And then the top comes with matching bottoms. For the next bathing suit from Shein, I actually kind of really freaking love this one. This one is just a kind of like brown army green triangle top. It has these little circle designs. What do you call that? It's cute. It's gonna give a weird tan, but it's cute. All right, and then the last bathing suit that I got is just this basic black top. I actually think this might be one of my favorites just because of the way it ties. It has kind of this ribbed texture. The bottoms, again, are a little big, but they match, so I'll figure out something with that. Dang, if this show me anything, it show me that I need a tan. Like a new one. All right, and then for the clothes portion of Shein, I just got this basic white top. It's kind of thin, but I mean, it was really cheap from Shein, so you get what you pay for. And then I got these shorts, which unfortunately I'm gonna have to freaking return because they're way too tight. I got them in a medium, which like, ugh, I don't know. They're really cute though. I saw ones that look like these from Garage and they were like 40 or $50 from Garage. And I was like, hell no. The last like, clothing clothing item that i got from shein are these shorts i thought they're gonna look a little bit different i thought they're gonna be low rise but they aren't they also do not fit and i kind of just don't like the way they look so i'm gonna probably return these or exchange them or something and then the last few items that i got are these white gloves <laughs> Super random. The only reason I got these gloves is because I think they would look really good with the black romper from Addicted. They're comfortable, they're cute, they're good quality, and they were really cheap, so I'm not I'm not complaining, you know what I mean? And then really random, <laughs> I got this trucker hat. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I kind of thought they would look really good with jorts. I think the only time I would wear it is on a messy hair day because I just washed my hair so it's gonna flatten my curls. But I wanted to show you guys. And then the last item that I got from Shein are these glasses. I'm very late to the trend. I actually really like them. I just think they're cute. Next I'm gonna do Aeropostel, which I just got like two things but in multiple colors. So I just got this basic cami, which I don't know why it literally took me like three years. I have been wanting a cami like this for so long and then I got it in black, gray, and then kind of like a maroonish color. Look at what I'm balancing on. This is bootleg YouTuber type-ish. The shorts that I got from there are just these baggy blue uh, mom shorts. Is that what they're called? I don't know. They're just baggy. I got them in blue, another like maroonish color, black and gray. I think they're really comfortable. I like how they feel. You can never go wrong with some baggy freaking shorts. Next we have Paxson. I only got two things from Paxson, but the skirt is arguably my favorite thing in this entire haul. I got this green skirt. It's in a size medium. It's from the Kendall and Kylie brand, but I got it in Paxson. I love this skirt. I love how it's not all the way down to the bottom of your legs. It's nice, I like it. All right, and then the second and only other thing I got from Paxson were these John Galt shorts. I found them in the brandy section of Paxson. I liked them when I tried them on at the store, but I don't know if I like them that much now. I just have to figure out how to style them correctly. I'm pretty sure John Galt is a one size fits all, so. Next is Lucy in the Sky. I was gonna get a graduation dress, but it actually takes like three months for them to ship out anything, so that wasn't gonna work. Instead, I ended up with this two piece set, which I actually really like. The quality actually feels really good for this set. It's in like a baby blue kind of color. All right, next is H&M. I just got these jorts from them. They're really comfortable. I got them really loose just cause I like how they sag. I don't like them to be like suffocating me. They're in just a lighter type wash color. I don't know what size I got them. I think I got them in a six. All right, and then the last thing I have is from Target. It's just this really huge kind of button up top. I got it in extra small. I actually think this might be for the maternity section. It's thick, it's from Universal Thread. I thought it would look really cute, kind of tied with the green skirt. It's big, I really like it. I thought it would look really cute. 
all right so that's gonna be it for this haul i feel like i look like an freaking alien wearing those as much as i've bought in this haul i will definitely be buying more i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe let me know what other videos you guys want all right i love you guys bye, -bye.